world. It's Matt Schwartz, the Welding Geek, and I've got another unboxing video for you today. I've got the Hasbro uh, Black Series Death Watch helmet here. I'm going to crack it open, um, kind of look at it, tell you what I think about it, just like all my other unboxing videos. Um, so yeah, um, how you guys been? I know it's been a while. Um, life's been busy. I caught a little bit of the COVID. It was down for a little while with that. That was not fun. Um, and I've just been doing some other stuff. Uh, but this came in the mail, so I figured I'd do a quick video on this cool Black Series helmet. And then I got a couple other things that I'll be... Uh, I'm going to do some Boba Fett pouches. I'm going to do a video on that. And then I have a, another photo um, shoot video that I'm working on as well. And then eventually, one of these days, we'll get back in the shop and start making some metal cool stuff because I am the welding geek, so I should probably be doing some welding here <laughs> coming up in the near future. Um, so, without further ado, let's crack open this box like we normally do. And we'll get into the helmet. I've got my one that me and my brother painted here. Kind of compare it to, not to say that this is like the gold standard to the helmet, but I'm curious to see how colors compare. Um, and yeah, just the first, the pictures that I've seen online, I haven't been too thrilled. I'm curious to see what it looks like in person with just the colors. It just kind of looks weird to me. But anyway, we know Black Series makes a great helmet, the, the base itself. I'm, just, I'm curious to see what the colors look like. So let's dig into this thing and we will find out. All right, let's take a look at the box here. Just like always, they do such good, I always like their boxes. What it looks like on the, they did a weird black wash on it that kind of makes it look weird. At least from the picture, so I'm just kind of prejudging it here. This right here, I really like this artwork a lot. I noticed that right when I opened it up. And the look of the Death Watch armor and art, I mean, I really like the way that looks. All right, let's crack this box open. First impression is I hate the paint on this. It did look really weird and stuff like that on, like I said, the pictures that I saw online. But yeah, I wonder if you could hit this thing with some acetone or something to take. I'll get this up, I'll bring this up here in a second really bring down this weird poorly done black wash I guess is what you'd call it I mean they went over the top um, the blues and per I mean this looks pretty purple this looks you know like the blue you can tell how different the interpretation that we took compared to the Black Series helmet. And if they did use, obviously, they're going to use the same mold for any style helmet like this, no matter what. So it has the Boba Fett scarring that the, they have on the original Boba Fett helmet. is all in this face mask here. Obviously, they took the dent out, but if you look, yeah. There's always the internal, they always have the Boba Fett dent and the internals. Um, so yeah, let me get this up here. Snap this on here. See how it does overkill? This, it's my opinion that this black wash is on like everything. 
so it makes it look really just crappy in, in my opinion the paint job now these um, I am though a huge huge I'm a huge fan of the black series helmets especially the Boba Fett line being a, a member of the Mandalorian Mercs costume club um, just how awesome of a helmet this would be for a custom Mando kit still. Um, and I know these kind of come and they go and then they get really expensive. So if you, if you ever could get a chance to jump on one of these helmets um, for the price when they're originally, I think this was like 120 bucks or so. I mean, that's a great, great um, starter helmet cost if you wanted to do a custom paint job on a helmet like this and uh, this death watch one since it doesn't have the dent up here um, in the actual thing it this makes a lot easier to paint it so you don't have to fill that dent in um, it, I, I've done a video on that doing a custom taking a black series helmet and making it an approvable helmet for the Mando Merc uh, costume club and the fact that these are all beautifully done inside yeah, they're plasticky and toy, but that's okay. You can do like a silver um, paint job. But that's on that other video. I can show you that. But anyway, my impressions of this video as I have unboxed it. Um, the quality of the helmet's awesome. They always do such a great job. Um, just like with all their helmets. The paint sucks. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the paint on this helmet, but that's just my opinion. Um, some of you may love it, and that's that's okay. Um, you can see the differences, like I said, how much more bluer. And maybe I'll try to find some screenshots of the actual screen used helmets and kind of compare this to the actual helmet to, to our take on it here. Um, and this could be this could be uh, closer. I'll have to kind of make a judgment there, so I'll kind of clip those here in this whole when I'm talking spiel um, this this uh, if you're not familiar with the black series helmets um, the ear caps drop down these lights turn on with a little battery that you put on in here which is a cool thing to have especially in a cosplay helmet um, so that's that's cool I actually did just build my Boba Fett helmet if you're familiar with that which is right here um, my version of the, what they call it, the rearmored. I actually used this as the base to make this template wise. As you can see how similar they are. Um, this is old aluminum, but I actually stole this off of there just so I could get this done in time for a con. Um, but it, it's a great shape, great helmet, always a big fan of the Black Series. Like I said, this will be another great addition to my collection of helmets. Um, but paint job sucks on this one. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Um, weird colors. The whole. I, I feel like if they would have made this a lot less of this whole weird black thing they've got going on here, because the the Death Watch. I feel like the Death Watch kits. They weren't clean, clean, but they were a lot cleaner than this. And yeah, so I don't know why they did that, but hey. Anyway, that is my unboxing video. Just my take on things. Thanks for watching. Um, I've got a, I got an unboxing. This is actually the um, prototype white helmet that we painted here. I've got Din's helmet unboxing and comparing it to my actual metal one. Um, and I think I actually have yeah the Boba Fett, the actual Boba Fett one that the Black Series did. And then, yeah, I've got videos on making stuff out of metal. That's my kind of cream of the crop. That's what I do. Um, I am the welding geek, so I'll kind of try to link some of these videos up at the end of this one if you're interested and if you're new to my channel, um, watching that kind of stuff. So, yeah, like I said, what I got coming up here, um, depending on when I decide to post this video, I'll probably actually post the pouch video first. So if you, I hope you guys enjoy the pouch video. They're a lot of fun to make. Um, and then like I got the um, photo shoot, another photo shoot that we did at the dunes coming up here. 
um, once the pictures all get edited and put together. Um, and then we're, I don't know where we're going to go from there. Um, thinking about doing, uh, I, w I would like to have a Django Fett template set for my Patreon page. Um, and I'd like to see how, I'm really cute. I would like to make kind of his chest and his back plate and the thigh plates and then, and try not to do the full set, I don't think. Uh, but that might be the route I go next just because I already have a great start. Um, I can modify my Boba Fett templates to meet the Django Fett <clears throat> kind of style and that the route. Because I kind of want to really see Django Fett in raw aluminum like Din Djarin. I think that will be a beautiful set to make. Um, it'll get me in the shop. It'll be a quick build. Uh, it'll be more content that I can get out of my channel. Um, and then like I said... I I was thinking about doing um, Echo from the Bad Batch, but I'm not sure which direction I'm going to go next, what to do. I'm kind of curious to see where the Book of Boba Fett goes. Um, there may be something in there that I want to build um, and try to stay um, relevant to what's coming out, especially on like the Disney Plus, even though Bad Batch, that Echo would be that, but it, that's kind of down the line and I find that when I post relevant content at that time when that stuff's out it does really well and like with the Boba Fett it didn't stuff it didn't do very well and it might do well when Boba Fett Book of Boba Fett shows up so I'm kind of curious to see where that lands us I was trying to plan accordingly to get the most amount of views on my channel to grow my channel as possible and uh, so if you're new to my channel um, go check out some of my other videos and you can kind of see what it is I do I make stuff out of metal um, and I try to build cool cosplay stuff, especially the Star Wars universe. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, if you enjoy Adam Savage or any metal crafting or build videos, I've kind of meshed the two together um, and I'm making cool metal cosplay stuff. Anyway, that's my gist. My name's Matt Schwartz. I'm the Walden Geek. Thanks for watching, guys, and here's for more.